everybody, welcome back to another studio vlog. We are back after a little hiatus and I'm so excited to be filming again. I did just take a little bit of a break. I had a lot of things going on in my like personal life and everything just got a little bit overwhelming with YouTube. So I thought I would take a little step back and just do the things I sort of have to do for the business and put filming on the back burner for a little bit. I did end up being quite productive in terms of like office reorganization. I'm trying to declutter like I guess my whole house but I started with the office because it's where I tend to like be most of the time so I thought it would be where the results would be the most obvious and I'm really enjoying what I've done. I'll show you a little bit later in the vlog but I have been watching a YouTuber called Caroline, um, I can't remember her last name but she has some really good videos on organisation and decluttering. I think she's an interior designer so I'll link her down below if you're interested. But this week we are working on new releases. I've got two weekly kits. There's a Halloween one and an autumn one and I'm going to do a Halloween monthly and some scripts. So this is the autumnal kit, it's called Oak Avenue and the dog is just so cute. But I really like the colours in this kit and this cake is really pretty so this is one collection. And then we have Booville which is a really like traditional Halloween but like a little pop of pink as well. Um, and the dog again, <laughs> we seem to have a lot of dogs at the minute. And then for the scripts, I went through the requests in the Facebook group. So we've got a headache, gaming, lazy evening and lazy morning, nap time, no spend, swimming and walk dog. Instead of sending me, um, this is what I ordered, the international standard tag, they've sent me CN22 labels which are automatically printed on click and drop so I literally don't have a use for them and I'm pretty sure there's like 500 on a roll and I've got two. They sent the wrong thing No, they sent the wrong thing, I ordered the right thing. Although it says picked by and it's got their initial, one was picked by PF, so yeah I don't know what to do. And they've also changed, these used to be on a tan coloured backing and now they're blue. So I'm really enjoying my A6 rings. I haven't really set much up yet. Um, I'll show you briefly what I've done. But I've got these weekly pages from Puffin Pages Co. 
<laughs> yeah, Puff and Pages Kai, um, which I like. I could do with like a tiny bit more space, but I've got a blank piece of like square paper on the middle of each of them so that I can put like random notes on this page if I need more space. So these are the weekly pages. Um, I've only tried two weeks and I did give up a little bit on some days, but I still like it. And then I've got my daily pages. I've got two days to a page, which I like as well, but I think I'm going to use these on like particularly busy days and then this other section and then this could be for maybe like less busy weeks, not really decided yet. But these dividers, um, I can't remember where they were from, oh, Plan X Doe style. This is the shop, so this page marker and the dividers were from there. And I also got, oh, I got these little um, page flag circular ones and rectangles, but I haven't found a pen that works on them because I like my Energel cleaner, but this smudges and I left it like a full 24 hours and it didn't dry. So uh, I don't know what pen to use, maybe like a marker. And I also got a little dashboard and a pocket, which I haven't put anything in yet, but maybe I'll leave this blank and use it like as a functional pocket. I've just got a little card in here, which was free with my order, I think has a cute little quote on and then in my pockets I've got a little photo and a munchkin bookmark this is super old and this was from Manchester Planner B in like 2017 <laughs> it was Becca Kelly Natalie Rebecca and me and then towards the back I've got another um like two pockets this time again not really sure what I'm putting in there I would like to decorate it but I've got a little card that was free in there at the minute and then a little note from my dad in the other side. And then I've just got one of my mystery postcards in the back. Oh, and I did get a little freebie. This is cute. Um, this is like, um, not fabric paper, but it's like kind of a woven material and a little Crafty Rat Designs Club Gemini uh, rat paper clip. And I've also got a little, I think it's a garlic clove <laughs> on my zip. I'm sure Becca bought this for me, but I don't remember the story or why it's a garlic clove. I'm going to ask her and see, <laughs> see if she remembers, but yeah, that's just cute. But yeah, I'm really enjoying using this so far.
So I wanted to show you how I have reorganised this storage area of the office. So the main changes are these boxes under here and this like Ikea unit. I did do a video building this, so if you want to watch me put this together a few months ago, well, it must be like over a year ago now, um, I'll link that in the description box. But this is where I mainly store all my stock. I've also got envelopes on the top and then the bottom is kind of miscellaneous storage but it looks messy but it is it's a little bit more organised than it was. <laughs> so the top is largely the same. I've got all my envelopes, different sizes are sort of in different piles. These are the same. I don't know why I've separated them. I've just got too many. But these are the commonly used sizes that I grab. I did used to store them assembled but I feel like they take way too much space. Um, it's just quicker to do it when you need them, so that's why they're flat pack. I've got my albums along the top, nothing really changed here. I'm doing a bit of a restock, but I don't know when I'm going to get round to them. <laughs> so uh, leave that with me, I will let you know <laughs> when I plan to do some. And then this is all the same as well. I've got my quarter sheets and then my kits and half sheets are down here now. One of the major changes that I did when I was not vlogging was I packaged all of the notepads into individual cello bags so this just protects them a little bit from dust and from just sitting in storage basically and it means they're a little bit more protected if i am to store them like on their sides or anything they're currently in a pile but i do kind of move these around a lot depending on when i need the space for other things the square ones at the back these were the christmas countdown like extra ones so 50 sheets in a square notepad these are the floral a5 weekly ones I have my individual months in this small acrylic square box. This is new, I literally set this up like two days ago, but it's so much easier to grab them. They did used to be in here, and because the sheets are so small, they would get like knocked over and bent when I went to grab them. So having them here makes it a lot easier and I don't like smush them or anything because I can literally see what I'm doing. <laughs> so that is how I've stored those. This box is all the random like lucky dip, oops bag, grab bag, just like everything's in one box because it used to be in a big box like this but after I packed the bulk of the orders I was able to condense it into this smaller box so these aren't separated but I can just quickly find what I need because there's not too much in here. This one's a little bit more random, I've got the pre-packed floral bundles for when people order all of the floral sheets in one. I've got the anniversary pack of three postcards in here, some text header grab bags, I think these are lucky dips, um, <laughs> I haven't really been doing many lucky dips this year so they're kind of forgotten in the back. And then if we go right to the back, there are some mini albums and I don't even know if these are listed in the shop. And then behind here, I've got some grey board for like adding rigidity to mailers and my 4x6 labels for my thermal printer. Oh, and the box behind here is more grey board and spare dividers, I think, yep. So like I said, kits are on this row. I've got my monthly kits here, which I would like to, I don't really know. They're a little bit annoying to pack because as you can see there's not a tab that sticks out so it's just not quite as easy to see what I need at a glance so I may move them into these kind of dividers, not sure yet. And multicolour is here, random tape gun thing that hasn't even got tape in it. That's my laminator at the back, my cold laminator for doing the albums. This is like grab bag sheets but they're sort of organised into kit with the hope that one day I might go through and print the extras to make the full kits. This one has oops sheets that need to be either made into oops bags, oops kits, or, well, that's the only two options, so I basically need something doing to it if it's in there. These are our premium matte, like, grab bag sheets or extras for pulling into orders when they're ordered. This bin is where I keep my packing, like, squiggly worms. I've got two or three A4 notepads, just extras that haven't sold yet. And then this has cello bags, stuff for Royal Mail click and drop, and just some random stickers for labelling the monthly sidebars. On the bottom I've got my paper, um, some spare envelopes, my treadmill shoes. I feel so weird having treadmill shoes. Just running shoes that I don't use outside because I don't want to ruin them some grey bags. And then moving on to this side, I have more grey bags in the bottom drawer. Ideally I'd like to store them all in here but it's just not enough space. The next drawer I've got my invoice paper and my planning notes notepads. I've got more notepads in here, I've got more of the A5 floral ones, the marble one, the today one and the get it done. 
And then because we are low in stock, I do have all my reusable albums just in this drawer, but when there are more in stock, this obviously won't work, so I don't know what I'll do then. On top of here, I've just got some envelopes and my guillotines and my tiny keyboard that I never use. <laughs> so I don't know why it's in such like a prominent spot in the office. So in the small one, I've got cello bags in this drawer. I've got all my spare labels in this drawer. I've got extra silhouette cutting blades in here. And this one is a bit stuck. <laughs> I've got my spare um, water activated tape and some dusters on the top. And then this one is really not very accessible, but it's just got a variety of envelopes. This could do with being reorganized. The only problem is like I can't ever really get to it so I'm a bit limited with what I want to put in there. I think my next point of call will be tackling the coax which is kind of more my personal stuff but it could definitely do with being tidied up a bit more. I did put a lot of my sticker kits away in miscellaneous sheets and I kind of decluttered the ones I don't use out of my character album. And then my kit album had a little bit of a declutter as well but I just need to work through these kits really. I'm trying to use them up before I buy too many more but I do tend to just take the kits I want out of stock, so it's hard to actually get through my backlog. New releases have gone live, so I'll quickly show you what is new. We've got the scripts that I showed earlier in the vlog, so I won't go through them. There's the Booville kit, so cute. This has been really popular so far. Um, there's Oak Avenue, these are the mini kits. The little dog is just, mm, don't talk to me about the dog, he's too cute. There's the Zombina monthly kit. This is already available in the weekly if you don't use monthlies. And I did restock all of the monthly scripts so that you can, um, well I imagine most people would use this for October, but not necessarily though, because like it's not that Halloween-y. Anyway, I've restocked all the months so you can use this for whichever month you would like. There's the matching standard vertical kits and then there's all the add-ons and both collections this week have toolboxes which are super popular at the minute we've had to start stocking more of these because they sell out too quick so thank you if you like the toolboxes mystery went live yesterday and it's such a cute one i am always a bit wary of like voicing my opinion of the mystery kit because i don't want to skew your perception of it before you get it but i really love this one <laughs> i love them all but this one is just it's a special one, I think. I'll put the teaser on the screen, but we didn't do, I mean, I think it's obvious that it's a winter themed kit, so I can say that, but we didn't do a winter one last year. We did bonfire night and then we did Christmas and that was like it for winter slash the festive period. So I'm very excited to have a proper winter kit. I feel like it's often hard to find clip art that's winter. I feel like we get so excited over Christmas and winter kind of gets skipped sometimes so so excited to be doing this particular theme i've been doing my memory notes i've got like one two three four spreads to do so i'm gonna try and do those over the weekend and get back to plan with me's but i think for the rest of the day i'm going to be working on restocks because we're quite low on scripts doodles and some kits i've been thinking about potentially not restocking kits but stocking more of them like when they're first released because we get really behind on restocks it's hard to stay on top of them and also like knowing if you're restocking the right things so i may do that and maybe we only restock non-seasonal things or things that are like still relevant in the future like not season specific that's the same thing. I don't know, I'm gonna have a think about what to do with that. I have designed a kit this morning that's very cute. It's, well, I said I was done with Halloween and then I did order um, some art on like a pre-order that's Halloween themed and then this art was released. So I ended up doing another Halloween kit and there will be one more on the way. So two more Halloween releases, but then I think I must be done with Halloween because there's so many kits that I've done now. But it was too good to pass up and I think it would be relevant for not just Halloween. I think it could be used in other parts of the year. So that's why I have justified it. But this kit will be coming next week as well. It's called Masquerade and it's just so cute. So I'm gonna end this week's video here. I'm hoping to edit the vlogs on Fridays. So that means we'll probably vlog uh, like Monday to Thursday or beginning of the weekend depending if I have anything relevant to show but I really want to try and get the vlogs edited on the Friday so that I can like finish my work week on a Friday sometimes rather than spilling into the weekend so that's what I'm going to try and do I know I said I was going to film down with me at the weekend but I feel like it's a different kind of work 
Mm, we'll, we'll see. We'll just we'll give it a go. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the studio vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye!